First Samuel chapter 21 deals with, well, David is on the run. He's running from Saul. And he comes to the priest, Amalek, and he's hungry, he's tired. And Amalek, well, he's not dialed in yet that Saul is after David. And he says, why are you alone? And he probably sees he's tired looking and hungry. And, and David asks for some bread, he asks for some food. And he says, we don't have any regular bread. All we have is the show bread, the, the bread that's been consecrated for priests. And he ends up giving that bread to David. And some people think, well, he, he disobeyed the Lord. He should have never given that bread to David. But it was, it was more custom than it was God's word. And so it's more of a religious rite than it was something that God had forbidden. And later, it's interesting when Jesus is passing through some fields with his disciples on the Sabbath, they, they take some sheaves of wheat and they, they eat them. And, and the Pharisees and the Sadducees go crazy. Like, you, you ate bread on the Sabbath. You, you broke the law. And, and Jesus uses this very story in 1 Samuel chapter 1, 21 to defend what he and his disciples do on the Sabbath. He says, don't you remember when David ate the showbread? There, the priest gave it to him. Because here's the principle, here's the story, here's the thing behind all of this, that God's more interested in human need and people than he is in religious rules and rights. God had never said, it wasn't his word, it was just a custom. It was just something that they had looked at as a right. Well, many times Jesus would go beyond custom and beyond religious rights to do what met a human need. He would touch a leper when they said, oh, you can't touch a leper, you'll be unclean. He would heal a man with a withered hand on the Sabbath day in a synagogue when they'd say, you can't heal on the Sabbath. He would do over and over. He would eat in the home of a tax collector where they would say, well, he's unclean. So all the way back before Jesus ever came, in 1 Samuel chapter 21, you see David doing something much like what Jesus did. Instead of being concerned about rights and religion, he is concerned about his men and about their hunger. And Jesus is concerned about men and women and their hunger of their heart to be healed, to be restored. And so he would go beyond religious rites and rituals and go touch the heart of a needy human being. And that's what he calls you and I to do, to not get caught up in religion and in rites, but to make sure that probably as his representative, we look after the needs of the heart and the soul and not religious trappings.